What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. Today we're going to be learning how to play and count in the time signature of 7-8. Now a lot of players out there have a solid understanding of what it means to play in 4-4 four, four and how to count that, but as soon as you introduce a meter change or mention the phrase odd time, people tend to close off because they don't fully understand what that means, how to count it, or how to apply it to their own writing. So after today's lesson, I believe you're going to have a solid understanding of what this means. So our progression is going to be a simple three chord progression. We have an F sharp minor chord, an A major chord, and a D major chord. Now all of these chords start on your fifth string, have a fifth string root, so that F sharp minor chord begins on the ninth fret of your fifth string, or F sharp, and then goes seven, six. Now, in all three of these chords, we're gonna play the first two strings, your B and E strings, open for all of these. So we have that ninth fret F sharp chord, our root note is going to move to the seventh fret, so now it's seven, seven, six, or E A C sharp, and that's our A chord. And then our last chord is a D major seven chord, and your root note is going to move down to five, so it's five, seven, six with the two open strings. Now I picked these chords because not only do they sound good together because they're all in the same key, but it incorporates using open strings, and a D, and a descending bass line. So we have... And we're going to repeat, in this example, the D7 chord twice through. So now, if we play this in 4-4, four, four, or we can think about this as an 8-8, eight, eight, because there's eight eighth notes, you're dividing each beat into two. We can count this if we play from our A string up and down, we get four down and four up. So it's a nice simple four four pattern where we get this one and two and three and four and. and I think we can all understand that and count that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three. Now when we change meters, our tempo is going to stay the same, but we're actually going to count each eighth note instead of saying one and two and three and, we just count each eighth note. One, two, three, four, five, six, sev. And I say sev because if you say seven, that's got two syllables and basically you're counting two beats, so you want to watch out for that. So if we're playing a simple eight eight pattern, to play in seven, all we have to do is take off the last note. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now if we apply that to all three chords, you now have a chord progression in seven, eight. And voila, you're playing in an odd time. Now, to spice this up a little bit, you can come up with some more elaborate picking patterns to play through. Um, I'll give you one example just to change it up. Very simple yet interesting 7-8 pattern. Now to incorporate some meter change, since we're playing that last D7 chord two times through, let's make that last measure 8-8, eight, eight. so go back and add one more note. So we'll have 7-8 for this chord, 7-8 for this chord, and then 7-8 once, and then 8-8 eight, eight for that one. Just like that. And now you've incorporated meter change. Really try to experiment with coming up with different picking patterns. You can use the open strings as melodic notes or melody notes. Maybe you want to end the 
use the first string every time or the B string every time, you come up with some pretty interesting patterns. I hope this explains how to count and play in 7-8. I hope you can apply this to your writing. As always, let me know what you come up with, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.